Hey everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tank and Food Reviews. Today we are going to be starting a new segment called Tech Tuesday. You've probably heard of it before from other channels, but on my channel we're going to be talking about anything basically that has to do with tech, electronics, computers, cameras, phones, lights, coffee makers. And then on Fridays we're going to have Food Fridays where we're going to be reviewing food products, whether it be restaurants, food, snacks, anything food related, it's going to be on Fridays. So today being Tuesday, we are going to be looking at the OnePlus 6T, which is my current smartphone. We're going to see how this holds up to a modern day OnePlus 8T. Okay, to begin, we are going to take a look at the OnePlus 6T. I still have the original box here, and we're going to do a quick unboxing to show you what came in the box. Then we're going to take a look at some of the specs between the OnePlus 6T and the OnePlus 8T. I don't physically have the OnePlus 8T, but I will go through some of the specs and some of the looks and features of the OnePlus 8T from their website and we'll see how it holds up. Let's get started with the OnePlus 6T unboxing. We'll put the phone aside and look at what's in the box. So take this top part off, we can see, first of all, we've got the power brick. If I can get it out. USB type A, normal power brick. And this has an output of five volts. And here's the USB type C cable. And then under that is the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, headphone jack, converter, dongle, whatever you want to call this. Inside this little box is the free case. So this is the case here. Pretty uh, basic case, as you can see, I've kind of put some wear and tear on this. <laughs> used to have a pop socket, so you can see a giant circle. Then I have my magnet metal plate on the bottom that I stuck on there. And then in this little packaging, here's some stickers, the SIM toolkit, my T Mobile card, welcome start guide, terms and conditions. Here are all the accessories, as well as the phone. Okay, so taking a look at the phone, we see the selfie camera on the front here, with the notch, small notch there. Fingerprint scanner under display. Uh, does do face unlock as well. So you can see it already detected my face right away and unlocked the phone. On the right side is the power button as well as the sound switch. So all the way up is in silent mode, the middle is vibrate, and then the bottom is full ring. The back side you can see is a dual camera system. So as you can tell with the glossiness, it is a fingerprint magnet. Left side is the volume rockers and the SIM card tray. And then on the bottom is the USB Type-C port, as well as your speaker grill, 
and the microphone. Uh, the top of the phone, there's nothing here except the um, speaker for the ear for the earpiece, and I believe there's an antenna as well. So opening up the display, like I mentioned, it does have a fingerprint scanner under the display. And if you do this a couple times, you can tell it's pretty quick. Okay, so first looking at the specs of the OnePlus 6T display, we are looking at 6.41 inches, a 2340 by 1080p resolution, 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio, it has a refresh rate of 60 hertz, and it is an AMOLED display as well. In comparison to the OnePlus 8T, this has a bigger screen of 6.55 inches. The resolution on the 8T is 2400 by 1080, and it has an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. The refresh rate on the 8T is 120 hertz, and is also an AMOLED. So moving along to the chipset of the OnePlus 6T, it is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. It is also running a Adreno 630 for the GPU. For the RAM, you can get a 6, 8, or 10 gigabytes of RAM. And for storage, you can either get 128 gigabytes or 256. The T-Mobile version that I have comes standard at 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. And the OnePlus 6T has 4G LTE. It does not have 5G. Looking at the OnePlus 8T, is running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 865. The GPU is the Adreno 650. Uh, it also has 8 or 12 GB of RAM, as well as 120 GB or 256 GB of storage. And the 8T does have 5G capabilities in it. So looking at the batteries, the 6T has a 3700 mAh battery, and the 8T has a 4500 mAh, so it's a little bit bigger. As far as charging goes, there is quick charge on the OnePlus 6T. It does have a five volt charging brick, whereas the OnePlus 8T has a 10 volt charging brick in it. But they call it warp speed charging now. So looking at the cameras, the OnePlus 6T has a dual camera on the back and a single front facing camera. On the back cameras, the main sensor is a 16 megapixel Sony sensor and the secondary is a 20 megapixel camera. The 8T has four cameras on the back, a 48 megapixel main sensor camera, 16 megapixel ultra wide, five megapixel macro, and a two megapixel monochrome. Looking at the front facing cameras, the 6T has a notch in the middle, which is a 16 megapixel lens, and the 8T has a 16 megapixel lens as well, but it is a pinhole camera instead. So looking at the video specs of both cameras, the 6T and the 8T both shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second on their main cameras. Uh, if you are shooting with the front facing camera, they both shoot at 1080p for 30 frames per second. Um, the 6T, however, you can reduce the quality resolution down to 720p if you want to. All right, guys, this is the selfie front-facing camera. Doing a quick test for you guys, but um, it's not too bad. Okay, so that's the specs of both phones in comparison to one another. As far as pricing goes now, the OnePlus 6T has been out for over two years now. Um, I don't believe it's being sold currently on the OnePlus website. Uh, you can pick one up on Amazon though, and I'll leave a link below if you're interested, for roughly about $200. The pricing on the OnePlus 8T is $749 US dollars. This is for the 12 gigs of RAM as well as the 256 gigs of storage version. Um, there are two colors currently for the OnePlus 8T. One is the aquamarine green color and then they also have it in silver. The coloring for the OnePlus 6T, uh, when it first launched there was a few shades but I could only find the glossy black version available on Amazon. My final thoughts, I don't I don't think you need to get the 8T. Um, it is a cool looking phone, but I think that my OnePlus 8T has held up very nicely the last two years, and I feel like I can hold on to it for even two more years, maybe one more year. 
I feel like if you're spending $750 on this 8T, why not wait until the 9 comes out instead? Pricing can only go so high, so I don't think it's going to go that high for the OnePlus 9. But for the specs on the OnePlus 8T, everything is definitely an upgrade to my OnePlus 6T. Um, but I don't think it's worth the $550 jump to that next level. If you do want to check out any of the two phones that I went through today, the OnePlus 6T or the OnePlus 8T, I'll leave links below to the Amazon pages. I'll leave a link to the OnePlus website as well. If you're interested in learning more about the 8T or the 6T, they do have more information on there. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button below. If you're if you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you hit that notification bell and leave a comment below on what you think I should review next. Do you think the OnePlus 8T is worth it to upgrade? Um, are you a OnePlus fan? What do you think about the OnePlus 9? Leave a comment below on your thoughts. That's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm trying to film here, buddy. Hey everyone, welcome back.